Yeah, it's me again. But I wanted to do you a solid. I wanted to give you a heads up. Because last I was last I heard this knife that some of you were a little inter interested in should be releasing like any time. Like probably within the next week or so. But it's on you to go to the website, get on the Facebook group or something so you have early warning because you know how these things go. So one of the crazier work tough gear knives and one of the two largest that I own is coming out soon. And that is the Puzan Predator Hunter. They're going to be releasing some of these soon. And this is not for hunting predators like, you know, coyotes or whatnot. It's actual predators, you know, like, you know, kill me, I'm here, kill me, you know, shoulder cannons and all that. Like, that's literally what this thing is designed for. Because I can't think of anything on planet Earth that you need a knife this big to kill. No. Maybe. I'm going to stretch that a little bit. But this thing, like... All right, well, what would you do with this? Uh, whatever you want, really. Um, let's just face it, it's pretty crazy big. And it's pretty cool looking. So, a lot of people were interested in this thing. And you like big knives. See, sometimes it ain't about like, well, this is gonna be really great for feather sticking and it's gonna be really good for making your shelters and all that. Sometimes it's just like, that thing's big and that thing's cool and it's gonna scare the hell out of anybody at the campground I want it that's good enough reason for some of you and, and I, I wouldn't judge you for that because this is definitely this is like my kids like to take pictures with this knife on their phones and then go like show their friends at school like yeah don't mess with me cuz look at this this knife is like half my size <laughs> So, nice choil. I mean, it's a cool looking design. It's actually a lot lighter than you would think it would be. It's actually a lot more agile than you think it would be. And it's the same thing with this other big one. And uh, I've, I've got the smaller uh, Puzan Bowie to show you coming up here soon, but that's, that's not ready to be released. This one is. So I just wanted to get out here and forewarn you because I was here, like, every time they release it, I can't get one. Well, the key, just like if it was like a, you know, a dark timber drop or anything else that was like really popular, the key is knowing about it ahead of time. Knowing about it ahead of time. So I'm warning you ahead of time. If you wanted to get one of these, they're coming up. Now, I did happen to bring a tape measure with me, and I want to get some actual, I want to find out. I don't know what the actual length on this thing is. I want to find out. I don't know what it's going to cost either because it's not out yet. But I'd say upper 200s or, you know, about roundabouts. I'm just guesstimating. Don't know. But let's get the tape measure out real quick. But let's see here. Damn, so we're looking at about a 12 inch blade. And. Just shy of 19 inches overall. Please. About two and a half inches, roundabouts, a little more from uh, spine to edge. So, as with all the work toughs, I mean, fit and finish is excellent, looks awesome, handle ergos is great. It's just. It, 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 it's big. It's big. This kind of reminds me of like the sword from like Final Fantasy 7, which is like the only, I'm not like a game nerd. It's like, but who doesn't remember that? Like, <laughs> this, is, this is fun. So yeah, so if you need a 19 inch knife for survival, Got to remember, what's a 19 inch blade mean? It means you can do about at least 15 inch thick logs. I can't test that. I, it's not the good old days where I just have cut wood everywhere. But uh, I'm just kidding. 
I'm just being stupid. This thing, like I just laugh every time I get this out because it's just so monstrous. Cool looking. And you know, it's funny, Predator, like it's not an exact, it's not even close to exact, but I believe it was part of the, if I'm not mistaken, I'm going on memory here, but I think one of the blades that did influence this was that, I, I can't remember the maker, but that giant, humongous, those knives that they used in that original Predator movie. I always wanted one of those, but uh, yeah, that was one of the ones that were that influenced it. So it's pretty cool. If you like it, uh, they're coming out soon. Now the sheath, at least on the, you know, the, the tester that I got, which I, I have one marked as a prototype. This was made in February of this year. So, I don't know if any modifications have been done to the sheath. Sometimes they, they get improved before they come out. But it's like most of the other ones, you know, they're not going overboard. They're nice Kydex, but they're not going overboard with it to jack the prices up. And it does have the uh, malice clips, because you will probably want to strap this on a backpack. I mean, you could carry it on your hip, but... <laughs> it's, look at it. It's a freaking thing. So, all right, so get in the work, my, my advice is get in the Work Tough Gear group on Facebook if you want to get the best chance of getting a heads up on one of these things. So, there, uh, that's my tip for you. All right, so I'll put some links to that in the description box below. There you go. Good luck. Chris from Prepare Mind 101, thanks for watching. Be sure to click like, share, and subscribe. I'll be back with another video here soon, so see you then.